Hello and welcome to a video presentation on equations and their solutions. Here's what you'll learn. How to determine whether a number is a solution of an equation. First of all, what is an equation? Well, an equation is a mathematical statement that two expressions are equal in value. Let's say I have 3 plus 12, which I know is 15. And I have an expression 23 minus 8, which I also know is 15. Since 15 equals 15, my two expressions are equal in value, and I can write 3 plus 12 equals 23 minus 8. When an equation contains a variable, let's say we have j plus 3 and we want that to equal 20, a value for the variable that makes the statement balanced or true is called a solution for that equation. Both sides of this equation have to total 20. So we know j has to be 17 because 17 plus 3 gives us 20. Let's determine whether 11 is a solution of this equation. 22 equals s minus 7. First, start by writing the equation. 22 equals s minus 7. Replace s with 11. Does 22 equal 11 minus 7? Solve the right hand side. Does 22 equal 4? Obviously not. 22 does not equal 4. So that means 11 is not a solution of this equation. Let's see if 15 works. Replace s with 15. Does 22 equal 15 minus 7? Well, solve the right hand side to find out. Does 22 equal 8? Again, the answer is no. 22 does not equal 8. So 15 is also not a solution of this equation. Let's try the number 29 this time. Replace s with 29. Does 22 equal 29 minus 7? Solve the right hand side to find out. Does 22 equal 22? Yes, it does. 22 equals 22. So, 29 is a solution of this equation. Let's do a word problem. Nicole has 82 CDs. This is 9 more than her friend Mary has. The equation 82 equals m plus 9 can be used to represent the number of CDs Mary has. Does Mary have 91, 85, or 73 CDs? Well, let's start by rewriting the equation. 82 equals m plus 9. Replace m with 91 first. Does 82 equal 91 plus 9? Solve the right hand side to find out. Does 82 equal 100? Obviously not. 82 does not equal 100. So we know Mary does not have 91 CDs. Let's see if Mary has 85 CDs. Go ahead and replace m with 85. Does 82 equal 85 plus 9? Solve the right hand side. Does 82 equal 94? Obviously not. Again, 82 does not equal 94. So Mary does not have 85 CDs either. Let's try the last number. Let's see if Mary has 73 CDs. Replace M with 73. Does 82 equal 73 plus 9? Solve the right hand side. Does 82 equal 82? Of course it does. 82 equals 82. So we know Mary has 73 CDs. Sam wants to buy a new video game controller. He has $93 already. This is $97 less than he needs. Does the controller cost $180 or $190? First, we need an equation to solve to find the cost of the controller. The problem states Sam has $93 and this, the $93, is. The words has and is mean equal in math. So we can stop reading for a moment because with this information we can start creating our equation. We can start writing 93 equals. Now the problem goes on to state that his $93 is $97 less than. 
Remember the words less than mean we will be subtracting. And the words less than mean the number in front of those words goes after the subtraction. So we can continue to create our equation by writing minus 97. But what goes in front of minus $97? The problem states he has $97 less than he needs. And what he needs is the controller. That's the cost of which we want to know. So we can use a variable like C for the cost of the controller and finish our equation. 93 equals C minus 97. Now that we have an equation, we can check to see which price is correct. Replace C with $180 first. Does 93 equal 180 minus 97? Solve the right hand side. Does 93 equal 83? Obviously the answer is no. 93 does not equal 83. So the controller does not cost $180. Now let's check $190 by replacing C with 190. Does 93 equal 190 minus 97? Solve the right hand side and we find that 93, does that equal 93? The answer is yes, obviously 93 equals 93. And so the cost of the game controller is $190. Congratulations! You've learned how to determine whether a number is a solution of an equation.